the commentary done by Diggy. I'm not sure if this is a free for all or a team fight, but it's going to be a fun one. It is on the Hunters. If you guys are unfamiliar with Hunters, it is the smaller version, well, the less mineral heavy version of, still very mineral heavy version of Big Game Hunters. And if you don't know Big Game Hunters, then maybe you have not played StarCraft back in the day. It is by far, far and above, I think if you've played Brood War, you have played Big Game Hunters. It's just that map. It's the one that everybody played in the ladder back in the day. It's really, it's just classic. Anyway, Gypsy starting. I don't know why this became the most popular one, though. Maybe because of Big Game Hunters? Who knows? That and fastest map. Anyway, 12 o'clock location. We have Gypsy starting as the orange Terran. Che check him out at Gypsy93 on Twitch. Upper right-hand corner, we have Jayun going by J9Re. Uh, as the white Protoss. Check him out at uh, Jayun, J-A-E-Y-U-N. Three o'clock location, we have 4E4, which I believe still is Crossy. That is C-R-O-S-S-I-E-E. -E. Bottom right-hand corner, we have Machine, who's actually opting to play his Terran on Big Game Hunters as the gray Terran. Check him out at Machine USA. Six o'clock location, we've got Whip, who is Whip Smacks. And actually, I don't feel like he gets the viewers he deserves. I did see him streaming a little bit here and there. He's going to be the red Protoss. Bottom left-hand corner, we have... Ooh, it's hard to see the name there. That is Raz. Actually, I wonder if I do this. Okay, yeah. I'm going to leave it at this. Raz as the blue Terran. This is much easier. Much easier to tell who's who. So this is going to be a uh, team battle. And you can see the teams are Gypsy J and Whip versus Crossy, Machine, and Raz. So... That's going to be two Terran and a Zerg versus two Protoss and a Terran. And it, I kind of, and as far as just the spawns go, this is like big game hunter strategy. As far as the spawns go, I'm going to give the advantage to Team Blue because essentially, if they just take out Whip at the six o'clock location, it's going to be very, and they've got a good shot to do so because you can see all three players have that. So essentially, what two players can do is they can kind of establish. A defensive line here and it looks like already starting those shenanigans i'm gonna actually switch the colors just to see who's being all sneaky with this that's raz trying to get into this base and do some disruption probes coming off the line a second bunker being built is this machine in here too both players trying to get bunkers down marines up in here the probes trying to bo box it out and they yeah they know the strategy here already lings already on the map as well they're heading towards jayun to go ahead and put back uh, try to push back any sort of zealot support one bunker is up marine not able to get inside though second bunker is up and i think you can do team repair so the probe's still trying to box the rest of the marines out but whip in a lot of trouble the thing is is if whip can just hold on he will basically win this match for his team gypsy sneaking through sneaking to that bottom right hand corner the bunkers are up working on those gateways the zealot sneaking back for whip whip wants to try to do a group attack with those zealots and my guess is is at this stage whip is like just like let me die the zealot's going to go ahead and sneak out maybe going to try to engage raz that's the closest spawn to go after in the meantime it looks like feeling a lack of pressure gypsy's like okay i'm just going to go ahead and macro up there's no way i can save you so let me just go ahead and do what i can zerglings have managed to sneak in that upper right hand base against Jayun. It looks like Jayun doing a pretty good job of microing against that. The Zealots running right by into Raz's base in the bottom left-hand corner. More Zerglings flooding in. So it looks like Crossy wanted to make this a fast one. He's like, I'm just going to overwhelm you with Lings and allow my opponents to go ahead and take out my Protoss compatriot. Some Marines trying to engage this. Keep in mind with Machine and Raz working against what's left here, they should be able to wipe this base out. I do believe they're in the range to attack that Nexus. So as long as Raz can kill this last Zealot, that will be it for Whip. It looks like this might be a quick one overall. Zerglings engaging Zelts and keeping that occupied. So a lot of pressure is going to be on Gypsy to go ahead and macro up and make something out of this. He's sending another SV scout to see what he can get done. The SCV's working with the pylon. It looks like that Zealot's still somehow alive in that bottom right-hand corner, bottom left-hand corner, with just a little bit of health. Whip can no longer produce anything. He still has three Zealots alive. Those Marines need to be a little bit careful and continue macroing, microing, microing back and forth. A zealot somehow sneaking across. How did that zealot get across all of this? The zealot sneaking in, starting to work on Crossy, realizing they need to equalize things and do some damage to the to a comparative opponent. If Gypsy can stay alive and keep macroing up in the midst of this, it looks like he's got a fire bat, some medic marines. He's going to start moving out momentarily. That might push back all of the zerglings. The zerglings actually getting cleaned up in the upper left-hand corner. So there might be a swing in momentum here. 
because the Nexus is still built. Looks like that bunker is just being finished, but the Medic Marines are moving and there might be a large counterattack against Crossy. Crossy needs to get something down at the three o'clock location. Some probes sneaking out for whip. He does have enough to go ahead and rebuild in the upper left hand corner. And so essentially what might end up happening here is cross positional battle lines. And effectively what has happened here is Machine and Raz have not taken care of Whip rapidly enough, and Crossy is now in trouble here at the 3 o'clock. There is a front door seal in this bottom right-hand corner, but there's no siege tanks here. That's just a bunker to provide some support. A second bunker being built. The Zealots, that's not a tight seal either, so the Zealots might just be able to march through and go straight to the main. Looks like they're working on that, and with a huge change in momentum, <clears throat> Crossy's going to end up losing this 3 o'clock. The Zealots are pouring in to cross into uh sorry machine's base so machine's starting to lose his base scv's pulling off there and whip is still mining at the six o'clock raz has licked his wounds he's starting to reestablish everything but it looks like switch colors here team blue is economically behind overall gypsy is just continuing to macro up he saved whip and he's continuing to, I mean, he might even be able to save Whip's main if he wanted to. He doesn't really need to. He can just sit back. It looks like Crossy's out of it. He does not have enough minerals to rebuild. And his loss is 3 o'clock. So it's going to be Machine and Raz left. But Machine's base is just, I think this is Machine, just getting wrecked by Zealots. SEV scattering everywhere. So a quick turnaround victory. And that is the nature of BGH. So Gypsy, by just being unharassed, and having enough troops left over might have just more or less solidified this base by doing a counterattack on Crossy. Crossy not getting a lot done against Jayun in the upper right -hand corner. So Jayun absorbing a lot of attack, Whip absorbing a lot of attack, and then Gypsy just able to peel through, uh, peel through and, and follow it up. The Zealots continuing to chase down these SEVs. Machine just trying to buy some time, but Gypsy marching in with a huge amount of troops to the bottom left hand corner going after the last player standing, which is Raz, who has a good amount of just Marines. No medics as of yet. Whip space cleared out, but he's already got another expansion established. This is very classic BGH as well. The exchange of bases. And it does not look like Raz has range either. Lifting off the barracks, trying to fold them back. Going to try to rely on superior bunker range. But Jayun providing some support. And there is GG across the board. And that is <laughs> fun one. Team Red takes it with I'm not sure if I want to call that a nice defense on Whip's part or a bit of a botched combo attack on Machine and Raz's part but Jayun certainly putting up a fantastic defense in the upper right -hand corner and Gypsy doing a good job of focusing on his macro and then just following up and just running over Crossy that was really the big momentum swing right there just running over Crossy at the three o'clock to seal it out hope you guys enjoyed it a little <laughs> something a little bit different I'm gonna this is uh I believe the end of the second or the first set from August nineteenth, and I'm going to move on to set two momentarily. Thanks for listening.